All right, hello. Okay, so today I am going to walk y'all through how to draft a Peaky Blinders hat from a pattern, from a magazine, from the 1930s. So, should be period accurate. I've made a couple so far, um, and I've gotten high praise from someone who was around during the 50s, so he sort of knows what they should sort of look like. Um, so, I think this pattern's pretty okay. And it does make for a quite a good looking hat. So, I'm just going to tape together some paper, some scrap paper from previous drafting excursions and walk you through guys through how I do this. So the pattern I'm using is one that I found off of Pinterest and it was a very uh, blurry image so what I did was I so I retyped it up in Word and these are the drafting instructions. As far as the um, putting it together instructions, those you would have to uh, those you would have to kind of intuit on your own. Although I could see about maybe typing something up, I haven't decided yet. I'll let you know if I do. Okay, so I'm going to draw a straight line here at the bottom, just to make my life a little bit easier, and then let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, the straight line at the bottom is just so I could kind of keep my um, angles correct, but because I don't have a T-square. Anyway, so A is the starting point, and I'm going to put that mm, half an inch above my squared line here. And then square up and down from A by the center line as the circumference of the head is 22 inches. Therefore, 22 inches is used as a drafting power and when division is referred to, it always applies to the circumference of 22 inches. Let me explain that to you. So, this when you square up from A, this one's A, this makes your center line, right? So this is your center line of your hat. Now, when they say to the circumference of the head is 22 inches, you need to take a measurement of the head, basically, and how big you want your hat to be. I will warn you, after you add in um, a uh, supporting fabric, like a canvas, which is what I'll be doing, or a, a and the lining in addition to the fashion fabric, it's probably going to go down about half an inch to an inch, just based on my experience. So. The hats that I would like to make is supposed to fit a 23 inch head. So I'm going to draft a 24 inch hat because the last one I made, that hat went down to um, 21 inches. So, <laughs> of a circumference based on a 23 inch, uh, based on a 23 inch circumference. So that part of that is due to the way I probably put it together. I didn't pay attention to my seam allowances. So that's on me, but um, yeah, you'll see. All right, so basically, this, since the circumference is going to be uh, 24 inches is what we're gonna be going for, we need to use 24 when division is referred to as it applies to the circumference of the hat. So for example, two from A is 1 12th. So that means that point two from point A is a twelfth of our circumference. So what is a twelfth of 24? Alright, so we're going to do 24 divided by 12, so that is 2 inches. So we want to go 2 inches from A. Alright, 2 inches from A is here, so that is point 2. And then we have point, I'm gonna have to draw a little graph for you guys, I just realized, okay. Um, th point three from A is a quarter, so it's a quarter of 24. Listen, I have bad coffee today, so if you expect me to do this math in my head, you got another thing coming. It is six inches. And then point three is to the left, based on the little graphic in the image. 
Um, it is super grainy and hard to read, but that's what I managed to figure out. <laughs> so four and five are gained from sweeping from three using point A to pivot at. So basically we're pivoting from shit. So basically we're pivoting from this point all the way over, which means I need a string. Oh Lord, I am not prepared. I want to pivot at point A. I'm sure there's a easier way, but this is the one I got. And that's point four and this is point five, right here and here. All right, six from four is half an inch, which would be, I think, down. So this would be six. And then sweep both ways from six using point two to approximate a halfway point between five and four and three and four. So I think point two was supposed to be two inches below now that I think about it. Yes, it was. Clearly ignore all of these instructions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know there's an easier way to pivot, but I don't know what that is, so. I don't think that's halfway point. That looks more right. Okay. So approximate halfway point, which would be here and here. Usually I just eyeball it because I don't think the sweeping method is particularly accurate, but that's just me. So, but now that we're done sweeping, I'm going to get this nonsense off my pencil. Point five and three and four, using point two to pivot at. Seven is halfway between six and three, so this is point seven. My camera died. Okay. Right, we last found point seven and point eight. All right, so draw a line from A through seven and eight. So A through seven. It's that one. And A through eight. Why does this look so small? Nine is at the half point between three and seven, so roundabouts here-ish. And ten is at the halfway point between seven and six, so here-ish. 11 is at the halfway point between 6 and 8, so there-ish. 10, 11. And 12 is halfway point between 5 and 8, so 12. Draw a straight line from A through 9, 10, 11, and 12. Alright, now that we've got half of a pie, next, 13 is 3, 13 from 3 is 6 plus half an inch. So 13 from 3, we want 24 divided by 6, so that's 4 inches plus half an inch. Four inches and then half an inch, so that is here basically. We're going to be able to throw it out. That's point thirteen. 
14 is gained by sweeping from 13 using point A to pivot at. God dang it, I gotta pivot again. I don't remember where 14 is, but I'm assuming it's here. 15 from 14 is a sweep. Is, oh, 15 from 14 of the sweep is 1 16th on division. Oh, it's coming off 19. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Point 14 is here. Not there. Ha, <sighs> okay. And then 15 from 14 of the sweep is 16th of the division. So, we have 24 divided by 16. That's an inch and a half. So roughly here-ish. 16 from 14 is the same. So basically here-ish. We have 15, 16. And guess what, when you connect the dots, I'm skipping ahead here, but you get the little flappy doos that fold over the head. Right? And then you'll just kind of put it in a subtle curve here. All right, 17 from 10 is a sixth on the division which I think we said was 4, right? 24 divided by 6, that's 4? Yes, it is. Okay. So we measure up 4 inches from there, and they do not have us adding half an inch here. And the reason for that is because you want the sides to be shorter so you could distinguish the sides of the hat from the front and the back of the hat. Makes sense? So this is point 17 square both ways from 7 by the line A to 17, so that is this line, and we just want to square that. And then 18 from 17 and 19 from 17 are both on a 16th of the division. So 24 divided by 16, that's an inch and a half. I know I measured that before, but I cannot remember. Yes, okay. 18 and 19. And then we want to connect the dots. Although I think this one actually connects to 1.6 here. Comes in a little further. Okay. Next. We have 20 from 11 is a sixth on the division. So again, measure up four inches. We've measured that before over here. Just follow our A to 11 line there. What point did we say that was? 20. And then we're going to square by the line A20. So just go across. And then 21 from 20 and 22 from 20 are both a 16th on the division, so that is an inch and a half. So here and then here. We have 21 and 22. And then we want to play connect the dots. So this V goes down a little bit further than these Vs, and that will kind of encourage the hat to tuck in a little bit more. Alright, 23 from 12 is a quarter inch less than a sixth on the division. So we know a sixth on the division is four, so a quarter, so we want to measure out three and three quarters, so 3.75 inches out, and that will give us .24 or 23, and we want to, again, square both lines on that A23 line, okay, can you see me, sort of, can you scoot it, okay, and then 24 from 23 and 25 from 23 are 6 on the division, what, seriously, 
Oh, it's 16th on the division, 1 16th. So again, an inch and a half. Let's go over to here and then to here. So 24 and 25. Connect 24 from 8 and 25 and 5. Okay, so then connect the dots. Okay, and then the next thing it wants us to do is shape the seams as illustrated from 3 to 15, from 15 to a point a quarter inch from 16, continuing to 7, and from 7 to a point a quarter inch out of 18, continuing to 19 and 6, and then from 6 to 21 with a slight inward curve. To 22. Oh, from 21 with a slight inward curve to 22, continuing to 18. 18, what? Oh, yes, continuing to 8, not 18. From 8 to 24 and with a slight inward shape from 24 to 25 continuing to 5. This represents one half of the cap. The cap has 8 seams to make the formation. So let me get my curved ruler and we can do that. It says inward curve and it's funny because I drafted all of mine with an outward curve and I'm wondering if maybe that's what's causing some slight inconsistencies in my hat. Let's see. Let's try this again. All right. From fifteen to a point a quarter inch from sixteen. Interesting. But okay. There's our point. Continuing to 7 and from 7 to a point a quarter inch out from 18. So, right there ish. From 6 to 21 and from 21 with a slight inward curve to 22. Because we'll keep our outward curves but then switch to an inward curve. That makes sense. So what that does is that tucks in the back of the hat but pushes out the front of the hat which is what we want in this case. Continuing from 8 to 24, so we go back to our outward curves on the sides. And they're very slight curves too. And then we flip our ruler and then we do another inward curve from 24 to 25. And then Flip back to an outward curve for 5 to 25. And that gives us half of the cap. And the cap has 8 seams to make the formation. So what that means, what I took it to mean anyway, was that you basically want to create, this is your center of your hat, right? This is where the button on top of the hat would go, right? Right there. So all of these center lines coming out all the way to the edges of the hats down to I guess where the binding would be. You can't see that. 
basically from like this point all the way to this point is where I actually sewed in little tucks so that I would create almost seamed details in the hat. So, so I got my little pizza pies. And then these points would all be seamed together. So um, one thing that I would do is probably draw in seam allowance so I know I'm getting the correct measurement on the hat. So before I cut this all apart, I'm going to take a red pen and mark all the points so I have a picture to upload for everybody so they can see where all the points need to actually fall on the hat. All right, now that we got the um, cap of the hat, or one half of the cap, so now we need to draw the visor. So drawing the visor, so first instruction is draw a line as here illustrated in 26 through 28. So point 26 is our starting point. And then 27, point 27 from 26 is half an inch more than a twelfth of the division. So again, we know that a twelfth of the division is two, and it is half an inch more than that. So two and a half inches over, one, two and a half, we have point 27. And then point 28 from point 27 is simple, it is three inches. That's just what the instructions say, so that's what we're gonna go with. So we have point 26 here, we have point 27, and we have point 28. All right, so what we want to do next is square up from 26 27 and 28. So I'm just going to line up a crossbar of my ruler to 26. We have 28 or 27 and 28. So there we are, we're squared up. 29 from 26 is half an inch more than a sixth on the division. So that would be four and a half inches. So we have one, two, three, four and a half. So this is point 29. 30 and 31 are gained in squaring from 29 by the line 26 through 29. So this is line 26, 29, and we're just going to square over from that And that will give us points 30 and 31. So now we have a rectangle. Right 32 is the halfway point between 29 and 30. So 29 and 30 measures in at two and a half inches. So half of that would be one and a quarter inch. So that would be here, point 32. And 33 is the halfway point between 27 and 30. All right, where were we? So we're looking for point 33, which is the halfway point between 27 and 30. My ruler is too long for this, okay. Let me just, there we go, okay. So that measures in at Four and a half, so that will be two and a quarter. Right here is point thirty-three. Connect twenty thirty-three and twenty-nine and shape the seam edge of the peak as shown in t from twenty-seven to twenty-nine. So connect thirty-three and twenty-nine. So we're going to connect that with a straight angle and then we're going to shape it Next, 33 and 29. Shape the same edge of the peak shown from 27 to 29. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. So basically we want to just kind of draw in I am 
freehanding this curve because I want it to look a specific way. Basically, I want it to come up above this line, but then down almost to be parallel to, or almost on top of the uh, 27 to 30 line, basically. So I get this kind of flattish edge, which is what I want. Um, all right, next, 34 from 31 is half the distance from 31 to 28. So that is four and a half inches. So we need to do two and a quarter. So there is point 0.34. Connect 34 and 32. Thirty-five from thirty-four is one inch, so that is basically this line right here. Well, I think it might be actually coming up to like here, if I remember correctly. It's almost like at a. Shape the edge of the peak as shown from 28 through 35, continuing to 32 to 29. So basically we want to follow our same kind of line here. To 32. 29. So we get that kind of weird change. And then diagram three illustrates the band. 37, I'm gonna do this on a smaller scale for you. 37 from 36 is two seams more than the circumference of the band. I don't know what two seams more means. Um, I really don't. I think it might have something to do with the pieces that connects on. I think it has something to do with these guys. So one, two seams more, which would be, um, three inches, so that'd be six inches, which seems a little bit excessive. So I'm gonna go with four. And so we know that the circumference is going to be 24 inches, right? And we're gonna, so we're gonna measure out a 28 inch band. So it'll be basically, um, and it doesn't say how wide it should be. I would just go with maybe like, depending on how wide you want the band to be, I would like mine to be an inch. So going two inches on mine would be just fine. So it'd be basically two inches by um, 28 inches. Basically is what we'd want that to be. And that is how you draft a Peaky Blinders hat. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to walk you through how to put together the hats. Okay. Okay, and I think I'm going to split this video into two parts so that those of you who just want to learn how to draft the hats can watch this video, and those of you who want to learn how to make the hats can watch the following video. That way you don't have to sit through like an hour long video. It will be cut up into one 30 minute video and one 20 minute video. So, if you're interested in learning how to actually make this hat, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> 